टुडे आई शैल डिसकस द डिजाइन ऑफ बेल्ट एंड पुली ओके नाउ कन्सिडार दिस इज ड्राइर पुली एंड दिस इज फलोर पुली एंड द बेल्ट इज उन्डेड ओवर इट which is wounded over the bell and follower pulley this is driver pulley and this is follower pulley this portion of this belt is tight side tight side of the belt and this is slack side of the belt let d1 d1 is diameter of driver pulley n1 is the speed of driver pulley d2 is diameter of follower pulley n2 is the speed of follower pulley now first i have to go the, about the velocity now you can find the velocity of driver pulley which is denoted by v1 and this equals to pi d1 n1 by 60 similarly the velocity of follower pulley v2 equals to pi d2 n2 by 60 okay second i shall go to the velocity ratio yes ratio which is denoted by vr velocity ratio it is the ratio of n1 with n2 that is you know this n is inversely proportional with d in this case as this velocity uh, the linear velocity is constant so this speed ratio is d2 by d1 okay this is the velocity ratio with respect to the diameter now 3 power of the power of the driving pulley this equals to this power which is equals to consider this this tight side having the tension of this belt is t1 and the slack side this tension is t2 then this formula is t1 minus t2 into the speed of uh, the velocity of this driver pulley that is v1 this is the power of driving pulley okay now let's go to four angle angle of lap 
और एंगल ऑफ कांटेक्ट ओके व्हिच इज डिनोटेड बाय थीटा कंसीडर दिस इज अ ओपन बेल्ट फॉर दिस केस कंसीडर दिस इज अ ओपन बेल्ट and this is the open uh, is the open belt is the open belt okay now this is the axis now this angle of lap is the angle of the portion of the belt contact with the contact with the um, pulley the portion of the belt which is contact with the pulley consider this belt is contacted with this pulley is up to this not up to that so if we make a angle here it is also this is the contact last end point of this contact so this angle this angle is called the angle of lap okay so i can write it is it is the angle which which is softened it softened it at the at the center center of the pulley pulley by the portion portion of the belt belt which which owns owns around the pulley this is the portion of this belt which is owned around the pulley and the last end of this contact is this point and this point so this angle is the angle of lap okay this angle is theta okay now consider this angle is alpha okay therefore that will that will be also alpha and for this case it is the same this angle will be alpha and this angle is alpha now what is theta this theta or angle of lap is equals to you can see that this angle total angle from this to this is 180 so 180 minus minus here alpha and alpha so i can make this minus this 2 alpha that is 2 alpha so therefore you can get this angle this total angle is 180 and if you minus this alpha angle and here also alpha angle so this will be the angle of lap that is only the net angle is this one this is angle of lap that is theta okay now we have to find what is alpha now here you can see that if we draw a parallel line with this belt then i can get 
this line parallel line with this belt and if we make a perpendicular line with this point belt from the center then this will be like that this angle will be alpha and this angle is 90 degree so I can write what is sine alpha sine alpha equals to this distance by this distance considering this distance is this O1 this is O2 so this distance is X okay and what will be this distance this distance will be the difference of radius between follower pulley and the driver pulley that is this distance will be the difference of radius considering this driver pulley having the radius is r1 and this pulley this is follower pulley is radius r2 therefore i can write the sin alpha is this distance by this distance so this distance will be the difference of radius here because this distance is r1 and this total distance up to that almost r2 so i can write r2 minus r1 okay that is the this distance and this length is is x so i can write x and this equals to i can write d2 minus d1 by 2x i have converted this r into diameter so this will be divided by 2 so this this will be diameter okay so from this i can write alpha equals to sine inverse d2 which is bigger fully minus smaller fully uh, d1 sorry this is d1 by 2x okay now 5 belt tension ratio belt tension ratio tr belt tension ratio is denoted by tr this is the ratio between t1 by t2 equals to e to the power mu theta this is mu where mu is friction coefficient c and between belt and pulley okay this is the formula now six initial belt tension initial tension it is the average uh, tension between t1 and t2 which is denoted by t0 that is t1 plus t2 by this is initial bell tension now 7 length of the belt 
considering this is L. Only this uh, distance between two pulleys is X. But we have to find this L. The formula is pi R1 plus R2 plus 2X plus R2 minus R1 whole square by X where R2 is radius of follower fully and R1 is radius of driver 